Okay, up next on the preview docket is Marvel Select Deadpool from Diamond Select Toys. This figure is like roughly seven inches tall of everybody's favorite Merc with a mouth. This thing's huge. Very much Jesus. so. Jesus. A lot of waste of plastic though in the packaging. Uh, you saying yeah. the toy's a waste of plastic? No, <laughs> the packaging is a lot of waste. There's a, there's a lot of iffy space here. Yeah. It's on the inside of the side. Just the way, the way it came out, I thought I had to yeah. say that. I agree there's a lot of empty space, but I still like, I've always liked the way that Diamond Select, Marvel Select did their packaging. It reminds me of, uh, I guess, a simpler time with a nice bl clear blister card. You can see a really good uh, depiction of what's going on here. Mm -hmm. And then I just, I like the uh, packaging on the wall. It just looks really nice. Um, you can put it on a shelf or something, display something mm -hmm. in box. Yeah, it'd be very difficult to hang it from on your on your wall or something. Yeah, you know, I got the little doodads. Yeah, but that thing's going to rip, though, if you... This thing weighs way too much. It's a ton, but yeah, I've I've seen to, you'd have to put like a support thing on the bottom or something like that, you know, or a peg or whatever. Without your masters in engineering, yeah, basically. Yeah. But you guys, this. So this I like the one. comment. You can't put these on the bookshelf, and what's neat is if you have them like on the side, you got everybody's picture. Yeah. So I've yeah. had a, I've had a few that I haven't opened right away, and I'll stick them on there. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, that looks cool. Yeah. I'm not saying the packaging is bad. I'm just saying it's it's very oh, excessive. No, 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 it's no. huge. <laughs> I mean, this thing is. It is a big package. Yeah. Is that what yeah, you like? It like is? Uh, like other things in this room. What up? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's get to the review on this thing. Let's get this guy open. Okay, we've got the figure out of package. We've had a minute to look at him and figure everything out, and I think we're ready to give him some scores. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start us out with the value. Uh, I gave this figure a seven for the value. He's uh, I picked him up for twenty two dollars. Maybe we'll find him a little bit less. Maybe may find him a little bit more. But um, at that price, I felt it was a little bit salty uh, for for the action figure, and that's just how I felt about it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, twenty two dollars is a lot of money for yeah. any action figure for the most part. So especially one that's been recently released. Uh, but I think I think um, for. The value, you get a lot of bang for your buck. Um, it's not like, you know, paying $9 for a Marvel Universe figure where, you right. know, you don't get any accessories and it's just three and three quarter inch figure. I mean, this figure is like eight inches tall. Um, he comes with tons of accessories. Th this base is super thick and super heavy um, and everything. And so overall, I give it a nine or eight. Oh, I'm sorry. I give it an eight uh, for value. I think he, he is a little pricey. Uh, but I think you get what you what you pay for if you buy them. So. I, I also gave it an eight. Again, pretty much the same thing. You're getting what you paid for here, and you're getting a really great quality action figure um, with a great quality base and great quality accessories. So he gets an eight for me. I mean, enough said. Mm -hmm. um, so the overall score we gave for him, or um, for that section, the average score is seven point seven. All right. Next up, we have quality. Um, I gave this figure an eight uh, for quality. Um, I, um, he's very durable, um, you know, his joints work really well. The only thing I didn't really like about it is the fact that um, the only position you can really um, do with his legs is a standing upright position. You can't like um, have him like crunch down or anything like that, mm -hmm. um, stealthy. So that's the only thing that really kind of um, he lost a couple points for. But overall, I think uh, A is a, is a fine score and I think he's a very, very, very good quality. Uh, okay. sure. All right, um, I gave him an eight as well. Uh, for the same reasons, he's a wonderful quality action figure here. Uh, something I even just noticed now, looking on his... Did I knock something off? No, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, um, there even like seams in his costume here. There's a nice back seam on here. Um, the individual pouches that have been sculpted, the pistol, you know. This is a good quality action figure, so... Eight. Alright, I as well gave an eight on this section. Um, pretty much for all the same reasons. <laughs> Uh, he does look good. He looks like that. He, he looks like the Deadpool figure, but I mean, man, it, it looks cool, and it's got a lot to it. A lot of little doodads. So definitely mm. an eight. Yeah, he has all these cool katanas and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. He has really cool stuff. All right. The uh, last category we have to rate on is appearance. I'll start off. I gave him a nine. Uh, he's nice. I think he's just a really great um, pentultimate. Deadpool, so to speak, the pinnacle of Deadpools. Uh, it's a nice blend of like the original Layfield design and the more modern art for Deadpool. I feel like he's a big beefy guy. He looks like a he's going to be a mercenary, but also he kind of has that ninja vibe to him. So I think it's a really great, accurate representation of the action figure. 
and of the character. Also gave him a nine as well. Um, you know, immediately looking at this figure, you can tell it's a Deadpool figure. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, a couple of little details, like it, the head sculpt on this figure is amazing. Also, um, you know, the versatility of weapons. You can have like the M16. He comes with the the, the katana blades. He has uh, these size, um, bunch of little handguns on the side and everything like that. All these little knives. Um, so overall appearance, I mean, this figure just looks super cool, you know, and I definitely think he, he's, he's worth a nine, so. Uh, for appearance, I gave this figure an eight. Yes, he has everything that Matt and Jason here have already mentioned. Uh, the reason I took an extra point off is just this section right here where it's supposed to be all dark. It's gray instead of black, and, it, you know, his colors are red and black. So yeah. no gray. That's that's my only real crit. That's my only reason that I disagree. It's the only qualm. It's just uh, that's gray instead of black. So it's an eight from me. These colors don't bleed. I like the gray, but better, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I like them both. I mean, I think the between gray and black, they're so very similar. Um, depending on what you see in the comics too, sometimes it's gray, but really what that has to do with is more lighting. And lighting yeah. and So and you can pretend like that there's some sort of spotlight only on the torso section of the figure, yeah. but everything else is perfectly and possibly black. black. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so the, uh, the final score there on the appearance category was an 8.7. Two nines, me and Larry, and then Jay over there with an 8.0. Mm -hmm. um, and that gives us an overall score for this Deadpool of uh, about 8. Uh, eight 8.0, we'll say. Why don't you look at it? It was 8.1. It was 8.1, but yeah. Yeah, well, we'll round down to 8. Right, right, yeah. Round down to 8. Um, 8 total for the this figure. You know, we really like the the, the appearance. Um, he looks fantastic. Um, the quality is, is is definitely there, and um, the value, I think, brought it down a little mm -hmm. bit. But um, but overall, you know, good score, good figure, and I definitely highly recommend it. Uh, if anybody wants to wants to go and buy this. And this diorama. Oh, throw the side. Okay. Yeah, and this diorama is really cool looking, too, so yeah. I definitely... Um, Jump for walls and bullets on the yeah. nose. Yeah. Yeah, I'd almost like to get this for, like, some G.I. Joe stuff. That'd be cool. Well, almost back uh, to Joe. Can we get a resin cast? <laughs> <laughs>